Hello friends, today I would like to show you some of my experiments by which I'm trying to make curly leaf adenium called dorset horn, less rare and faster growing. Here are my half a year to a year old Dorset horn seedlings growing very slowly. Last year, when I was cross pollinating my cheddar page Taisoko adeniums plants that give uh, 3 to 5 percent of seedlings dorset horn very curly cultivar of desert rosadenium I made several experiments in hope of speeding up their growth One was that I grafted these seedlings on fast-growing obesum. And as you can see, it made the seedlings non-curly and truly fast-growing. In hope that I would later on earlier them on their own route and they would get uh, again new growth new leaves curly and I would get this way faster a bigger plant that is curly that is torsed horn type one of these plants, I don't know if you can see it down here, has already first buds of flowers, which I'm hoping to use for pollination and see if I can get bigger percentage than three to five percent curly of spring since at least one of the parents would be already curly which would take me a couple of years more to get out of this another experiment that I did was that I cross Chada Page with Obesum, hoping to get some, even though less than 3 to 5% of spring curly, that might get the faster growth because Adenium Obesum is faster growing. Unfortunately, out of many hundreds of seedlings, none of them was curly but I kept the ones that uh, exhibited some body characteristics of Chada Pech. and one of them is today blooming here it is a Chada Pech like plant that had one of its parents Adenium obesum. Today I will cross pollinate it with one of my Chada Page that um, was very successful mother 
more than three to five percent of curly, I would use pollen from this plant. And uh, one of the chadapech I would use as pollen parent for this one as a mother. I would cross it both ways. And again, as, pal as uh, pollen parent, I would use the one that was more than three to five percent successful in creating curly offspring. And in this way, I am hoping to maybe get offspring with the curly leaves called dorset horn adenium in larger number because it's called back crossing. In other words, instead of 50% cheddar page and 50% obesum, it will be 75% cheddar page and 25% obesum. So I'm hoping to get hopefully some curly and hopefully some of them or all of them having the characteristic of faster growth that adenium obesum contained. Hopefully, hopefully. And uh, third experiment that this year is going in its second round from last year is that I separated um, Chada, my cheddar page parents from last year between those that were very successful pollen parent, pollen parents and those that were very successful stigma parents, mother parents to see if by excluding the ones that just look good from those that were successful as a pollen parents, father parents, uh, from those that were successful as stigma parents, mother parents, and crossing the pollen from these and to stigma of those to see if I can get better percentage than three to five percent of a curly ones. Well, the time will tell if any of these three experiments in its second round will bring positive results. And of course, I'm hoping to report on that in one of my future videos. Goodbye, friends. Okay, now this plant this flower, I don't know if you can see it, got a pollen from here, and this plant, this flower, got a pollen from here. Now I'll tape it. So no insect can bring something else there and no wind can and sun dry the pollen.
attach a tag with information. and cross my finger and same thing with the other parent <laughs>